So in my research group, we're working with uh, bacteriophages. Each bacteriophage carries a different chemical attached to it. And we use this technology to solve problems in fields like cancer research. One of the problems in cancer research is that a tumor, a growing tumor, needs more and more food and resources. And in order to do that, the tumor has to attract blood vessels into it to, to supply these resources. So when tumor reaches a certain size, it can no longer continue unless the blood vessels grow around it. So tumor sends instruction to the vessel. that says, please grow. I would like you to grow around me and supply more nutrients and oxygen for me. And one of the strategies to preventing tumor growth is intercepting this instruction. And it's like, Warfare. You shut down the communication between in your enemy camp. And if, if the troops are telling their supply uh, officers that we need more provision, we need more food, but if you intercept that message, the tumor tries to send the command, but it never reaches the blood vessel. So the blood vessel actually doesn't grow, and then the tumor eventually dies. Uh, in order to intercept this instruction, we have to know what this instruction is, what it's made of. And this instruction is actually a well-defined protein, which I'm going to keep green. And this, this protein, it kind of looks like a Pac-Man and another Pac-Man fused together. That's called the lectin. The way this message works, comes from a tumor cell the tumor cell secretes it and then this this message flows around and it flows to another cell which is now a blood vessel cell Reaches blood vessel cell, the two heads of this Pac Man they cross link proteins in the membrane of the blood, mass, blood vessel cell, and that cross linking serves as a signal that says go or grow and prosper. All you really have to do is to make sure that this message never reaches here, or even if it reaches here, it doesn't not able to do this cross-linking. So the way that cross-linking happens is by this two-headed Pac-Man sort of biting on these two, two red triangles, which are carbohydrates. It binds to one carbohydrate on one receptor and one carbohydrate on another receptor and sort of brings them together. But if you can block these carbohydrate binding sites with another molecule, then, then this particular signal cannot do anything. So the, the mouth of the two-headed Pac-Man is now blocked and it cannot do its job anymore. So in order to intercept the message, again, you have to take this message and you have to block it with some molecule. And now the question is, which molecule is the best blocker for, for this two-headed Pac-Man?